Spring, a season of rebirth and vibrant colours. But this also comes with some disadvantages. Whenever spring then like my nose is runny, um, my, nose, my eyes become very watery. Yeah. When it comes to allergies, I feel like people are not well informed because allergies in, in, a, in an understanding, allergies is just how your body acts with the nature's livelihood. Yeah. With this in mind, aerobiologists at the Northwest University are invested in groundbreaking research around allergy causing pollen spores in the atmosphere. So yeah, my research, basically I'm studying the pollen and fungal spores in Pochestrom, something that has never been done. It's the first time we're doing it in the Northwest province. Um, so we want to study these things to better understand how they affect um, human health. Um, so people who are exposed to like pollen and fungal spores can get allergies, like itchy eyes, you sneeze, and some people even get like skin reactions. And it can make asthma worse for those people as well. So we want to understand how much of it is in the air, what kind, so that we can work together with public health to see um, how we can help these patients alleviate their symptoms. This research also requires both technical acumen and discipline. So this is a spore trap. Um, so. Uh, it's a bit technical, but then there's like a tape, it's an impactor type, so all the pollen and the spores that are in the air, they get impacted onto a tape that is in this instrument. I take this tape, cut it up into seven pieces because it's a weekly study, we study it on a weekly basis, cut it up into seven pieces, representing the seven days, and study it under a microscope because we can't actually see most of this pollen and these spores. Subject Chair for Geology and Soil Sciences at the University, Professor Frank Newman, says their research is also aimed at influencing policies around public health and urban and regional planning. It's not the indigenous trees which are causing a problem, but the majority of the pollen we find, majority of the tree pollen, are actually exotics. And if you look around here on campus, you see a lot of exotics. That, for example, is a London plane tree up there, yeah, which is releasing from August onwards throughout September until October, it releases a huge amount of very highly allergenic pollen. Yeah, so by planting all those exotics, we are actually having a problem, especially in the cities, when you think about alleys, for example, that we are putting a lot of people under a health risk. Research here also contributes to national pollen sampling. Sintle Inglihihi, SABC News, Bochefstrom.